trust that it's an important tool. I mean, the activists that use circumvention tools, uh, they have to rely on each other. But when it comes to specific technologies, some of the best tools are the ones that don't make you trust them. If you're only going through a single hub, then the person that is running a tool like a VPN or a single hub proxy knows where you're coming from and where you're going to. Uh, you may trust them, they could still get hacked, they could still be thrown in jail unless they give up your information. The repressive governments are trying to follow you who are you that is producing content, that is blogging, that is running this website? It's very important for them to trace and arrest them or make some problems for them. So it's very important to stay anonymous on, on the internet and Tor gives you the ability for the anonymity. If you were to describe it as, say, traffic, you would be driving through a tunnel. You also, in general, have in systems like Tor, the infrastructure is run by volunteers and anyone can become part of it. They install the software on their computer and then their computer can become part of the network and help other people circumvent. Tor separates where you are from where you're going online. So it bounces your traffic through three relays that are distributed all over the world and they're run by volunteers. And so you connect to the first server uh, and it's using encryption and so it sees a con an encrypted connection and then it connects to the middle node and so the middle node only sees that you're coming from the first node and then you go to the third node and so the third node only sees the second node and where you're going. Um, and so that's one piece of the puzzle. You also need to use end-to-end -end encryption which scrambles the content of your messages so that even that end node doesn't uh, doesn't see what you're doing. Uh, so the Tor people are always recruiting and always spreading the word that if you have a computer and you want to be part of the Tor network, you can become part of the Tor network as a volunteer. Uh, we were just looking and surprisingly, the number of computers that are making up the Tor network um, seems to be only a thousand or a few thousand out of all of the billions of computers in the world. So comparatively, very few people are contributing resources in that way.